A new nonprofit in Sweetwater is offering prom dresses, shoes, and even a makeover to high school girls in Nolan County who cannot afford it to make their own prom night special. Our Annabelle Tuggle went to this nonprofit where she saw dozens of donations from the community and learned that this is so much more than just a dress. Picking out the perfect prom dress is something almost every high school girl dreams about. Next to your wedding day, your prom dress is going to be the dress that you remember for the rest of your life. For Kathleen Cox, she still remembers her prom dresses and loves them. We want those girls to feel the same way. But with inflation causing higher prices. As a mother we, and a father, they want to provide those experiences to their girls, but they may not be able to. That is until now, through the Promise Room, helping those who are facing economic hardship with a free dress confidentially. The dress, the shoes, the purse, the makeup, everything that you think of when you think of the all-encompassed prom experience. Cox saying she's amazed at the dozens of dresses donated. One of our racks started tipping over because we had so many dresses so we had to pick it back up. This room is located inside another nonprofit, Nurture Nolan, which helps children who are removed from their home. We've received numerous uh, questions from other members of the community asking if Nurture Nolan provided prom dresses or the prom experience helping meet that need and we didn't. So Vice President Samantha Morrow says one Nurture Nolan volunteer created the promise room. A, a dress that would stand out for the prom. Do I get groceries or do I get a prom dress? Sweetwater High School's counselor Amy Clark says this is a question more students are asking because they don't want to be a burden to their family. I think that's really going to eliminate that fear and worry of, of can I go to prom and instead it's going to turn it into a celebration. And because the community of Sweetwater donated dozens of these dresses, so many more girls will be able to attend prom in May. In Sweetwater, Annabelle Tuggle, KRBC, Abilene Local News. Thank you, Annabelle. Now, Cox says they're in need of larger dresses, size 10 and up, and monetary donations to help buy a prom dress for someone who needs a different size than what they have. To learn how to get a dress or donate, go to our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.